This smells so bad. video we're going to talk about safely driving in the wilderness mountainy areas I recently was on a trip I was actually coming to Dolly Saws to shoot more amazing Milky Way photography I was coming out of another wilderness area instead of going back down the mountain and around I decided to come over the mountain it was the quickest shortest way it was the dumbest mistake that I've made here in West Virginia I ended up riding my brakes. I was pulled off on the side of the road. Box Van D called me and inquired, what are you, you know, what are you doing? You know, and I was on the side of the mountain trying to get my brakes to cool down. They smelled horrible. I pulled over, I touched them, and it was very, very hot. I, I know someone that was coming out of the Idaho mountains, their brakes caught fire. I did not want that to happen to me. When I got the ProMaster van, I actually tried to find on YouTube a video that showed you how to shift coming in and out of the mountains. Never found that video, and it kind of went, you know, to the back of my head and never thought about it again. When I went to Colorado, I was going up into the mountains and I quickly learned to downshift, how to switch those gears. You let off the gas, put it into manual, the van automatically finds the gear that it wants and then you go from there. You downshift if you're still climbing, if you're coming out of there, you put you start upshifting and then return it back to drive. But that I never researched coming out of the mountains. So when I was on the side of the mountain, letting my brakes cool down was the worst time to learn about how to get safely out of these mountains. So I was on the side of the mountains, Box Van D's on the phone. I explained to her what happened, that the brakes were cooling down, and she gave me the most important, probably life-saving lesson that I've had driving this van. She explained to me what you have to do when you're coming out of a mountain is drop it in to a low gear, third gear, second gear. That way the van can control the speed. You don't have to ride the brake. If it's going too fast and you find yourself braking even still, then drop it down into a lower gear. This mountain behind me, this is Dolly Sod's Wilderness. I came out of this entire mountain in first gear. One time I had to put it in second. I quickly, after I got down that plateau, I quickly returned it into first because this is a very steep mountain. I barely had to ride my brakes. Very, very safely made it down this mountain. I have quite a ways to go, but coming down this mountain reminded me that I wanted to share that lesson with you all. Any lessons that I learned, even though I felt like a complete idiot, any lessons that I learned, I want to share with you guys. Whether you're in a van or a car or an RV, you, I mean, you don't know. I didn't know. You know, I know a lot about construction. I've said many a times on my channel, I don't know a lot about vehicles. The fact that I had an automatic vehicle and have been to so many national forests and national parks that I didn't know this, it's amazing that I haven't burned up brakes or been in accidents before now. So coming down out of this mountain, drop it into low gear, barely had to touch my brakes, safe, safe, all the way down, my brakes, no wear and tear. I will say just for safety purposes, when I, came down out of the mountain that time since the brake smelled so bad i did take my van to a brake specialist um actually in maryland i guess it was and they looked at my brakes and no damage was done you know obviously it's got 22,000 miles on it now 23,000 miles on it but um you know, no, no damage to the point where I had to get new brakes, but 
that was a horrible experience for me. I wanted to share that with you guys. We're all learning together. We're all growing together as a community. Stay safe out there. Don't be afraid to go up in these mountains. Just know how to come out of them safely. And we'll see you guys on the next video.